Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. I'd like to say a very big thank you to all those who followed us with our fast from the 18th of January to the 7th of February. Wow, what a, a fast that was, a powerful one. And the testimonies are just streaming in. Amazing, amazing testimonies. Now, I'd like to capture my thoughts with the, uh, with the phrase, insecurity valleys. In First Samuel chapter 23, verse 7, there's a story there, and the story unfolds about a man called Saul, who was king. In fact, was the first king of Israel. That was Samuel. I mean, God chose him, and uh, he had everything at his, at his disposal. In fact, God even, at one point, when he, he misbehaved, God said to him, look, if you had kept the faith, and you have done exactly, and you had obeyed, uh, the kingdom would have been yours forever. But right now, it will be taken and given to somebody else. But Saul had a very big challenge, and that challenge started when um, David killed Goliath. The Bible says, if you remember, when David killed Goliath in 1 Samuel chapter 17, 1 Samuel chapter 18, that the women of Israel sang, and the, and the song they sang was that David has killed uh, 10,000, and um, Saul has killed just 1,000, a, a and that worried Saul. It worried Saul a lot. It really worried him, and worried him to the extent that the Bible says from that day he eyed him. From that day, the green monster was alive, and the green monster was breathing in, in King Saul. Now, something then began to happen. In, in, his, in, his, the, in, his, um, in his fit of envy, and in his state of envy and jealousy, he began to pursue David, and began to look for ways to kill David, or look for ways to eliminate those who he felt were better than him. But one thing that he employed, and that was a very, very powerful one, was the Bible said in 1 Samuel chapter 23, verse 7, he had people who were reporting David to him. He had people who were coming to tell him stories about David. He had people who were feasting upon his insecurity, and they had people who were feasting upon his jealousy and his envy. This is one thing that I found out with leadership. Listen, your insecurity is going to place you in a valley where you're going to entertain gossip or you're going to entertain bad news about people you perceive as uh, enemies or people you perceive as threats. Your jealousy and your envy of other people who are more endowed or more gifted will begin to, you, you now begin to enter the valley of insecurity where now you begin to employ people who are going to be coming to you to tell you bad news and you'll be very, very surprised. You will thrive. There's a happiness. There's a joy that you would have when you hear bad news about somebody you perceive to be an enemy, somebody you are envious of, somebody you are jealous of. You now begin to entertain bad news. So for you, the bad news is the cause to say, praise God. The bad news about that person you perceive to be a threat, you perceive to be an enemy, gives you the joy, gives you an exhilaration. It gives you a sort of excitement. It gives you a sort of success faction. You may not voice it, but it is you. And you may even run it through your head. Or you may pass it out and make that like, yes, yes, I knew it. I knew it. You know, that green-eyed monster called jealousy and envy sometimes get, pushes you to the place where you begin to entertain negative news about other people. You perceive to be threats to who you should be or where you want to go or what you need to have. That was so. Now he began to entertain information about David. If David sneezes, hey, if David, that, that, that's what you do. You get it? If, 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 you, if you're walking in that particular valley, that valley of insecurity, when a person you perceive as a threat or you, somebody you think you're envious of, you're jealous of, if the person sneezes, COVID, that's why you're not even COVID-19, COVID-40. That's, that, that's, that's what you do. Because, you get it, in, you, you, are, you are filled with envy, you are filled with jealousy, and so you begin to meditate on the downfall of the person. You begin to take delight in the downfall of the person. There's an inward satisfaction, there's an infernal inward satisfaction when calamity hits that person. You are looking forward to it, to justify perhaps your, your insecurity or to justify your foolishness. Because calamity levels the person. So, so you, 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 you live in expectation of something wrong. If the person has a headache, you will tell everybody that it is stroke. 
if the if, 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 if the person stumbles and the person has not fall uh, has not even fallen yet the person is not yet down you begin to say yes if i think gamma yes we we have a you begin to lock your fingers in expectation of evil you begin to cross your legs in expectation of evil you wish that the person is going to fall down and therefore as a result of that you entertain traffic but mind you and be very very careful the very same traffic that comes to you telling you evil things about the person will be the same traffic that will come from you or go from you to that person you tell the person look he or she is expecting you to collapse never walk in the valley of insecurity the valley of insecurity is going to uh, is, is going to create problems for you because you see you are not god and when you begin to play god in the lives of other people then you begin to mark that this person is going to go down this valley this person, it's not going to happen it's not going to happen because you're not god you see after father son and holy ghost your name is never mentioned so the decision making process in heaven concerning that person your name is never factored into the equation saul a king looking for a young man who he felt was a threat he began to entertain people in his insecurity valley in the valley of insecurity to bring him bad news no and no and no but you know what after all said and done the choice is still yours see you later